from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. Officials don't know yet how that Polisky Dock fire started Sunday night, but they now know the damage it caused. Six stalls completely destroyed, two others damaged, two boats destroyed. The stall owners are now trying to determine what to do next. Agriculture Minister Pintot among those viewing the damage and promising the government's help if it's possible. We'll do a careful assessment. We'll hear from the vendors. I will have discussions with my colleagues. I don't control the purse of the Bahamas, as you are fully aware. And so we, we will have a, we'll have a candid discussion, and we will do our best to assist. The minister says they're waiting for the fire services report to determine what caused that blaze. Police charged 21-year-old Jason Lamb with murder in connection with the March 1st shooting death of Antonio Russell in the Barnard Road area. Prime Minister Minnis says Cabinet is going to discuss what assistance the Bahamas can give to residents of St. Vincent impacted by that volcano eruption there. He told the House that when the Bahamas was hit by Hurricane Dorian, we received assistance from a number of Caribbean countries. Now it's our turn to help where possible. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The Prime Minister making the pitch for his upscale housing community for young professionals in the House yesterday. He says you don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer to qualify. Also in the House yesterday, Works Minister Bannister not backing off on that Abaco shady town raid, despite some criticism from some residents of the community. In fact, the Minister told the House they're moving ahead with the next phase. On the expiry of 20 days, the third phase of the operation will begin with the demolition of other structures in accordance with the provisions of the Building Regulations Act. Health officials reporting another death from the coronavirus, a 75-year-old Andros man. That takes the total to 190 now. There are eight other deaths under investigation. Teachers are among those eligible to get the coronavirus vaccine now, but they're apparently hesitant to do so. BUT President Belinda Wilson says there's been very little interest from her members about taking that shot. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, that frontal system racing through the area, clearing by today. Mostly sunny skies behind it, highs from the low to mid-80s. 81 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, wind settling at 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 4 this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines major problems in St. Vincent with the fallout from that volcano eruption there. Another huge explosion has rocked the island. There's major damage and help is coming from other countries. More racial tension in the U.S. and it's in the state of Minnesota again after a woman police officer shot and killed a black man in the Minneapolis area Close to where the George Floyd murder trial is going on, the officer says it was an accident. She meant to use her taser, but there's been violent reaction already. Preparations continue for Saturday's funeral for Britain's Prince Philip. Special services continue in Britain for the Queen's 99-year-old husband. Tribune's gas tracker prices shell 486, Rubus 485, SO $4.85 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. There's a Pedro Seymour update in the Tribune Sports. She should be headed for the second Olympics of her career. There's a report on Team Bahamas for the Tokyo Games. You want to read about that. Updates on Major League Baseball and the NBA, including details 
of the Suns win over the Rockets. Aiden with 18 points and 8 rebounds in that game. And there's an update on Bahamans playing baseball at the college level in the U.S. You want to read about that in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.